this is also very interesting and debatable topic yeah uh, i feel again i the, the ceo of nvidia jensen huang yeah he says that ai will not replace you someone who is using ai will probably replace you yeah i mean you can of course do people are doing a lot of weird things uh, and uh, with using ai Yeah. Right, there are a lot of open source models. People are doing a lot of crazy stuff. Like, for example, your AI companion, like life companions, right. and so on, so on. AI partners. People are using AI to mimic calls. You know, back in the day, I don't know if you guys know that. Uh, I don't know if I will get into trouble for saying all this on your show. But back in the day, and I think today as well, there are these phone phone numbers where um, mostly desperate men would call and just talk to someone. Yeah. Right. And right. this is now done using ai probably you'll fail at something or you will struggle i'm reading this book called hard things about hard things yeah. it's by uh, ben anderson ben anderson is again a very amazing entrepreneur a uh, very big venture capitalist and uh, he says that wo oh, struggle feel ho jayega na tumhe pata chal jayega hi guys welcome to the astric show i'm your host gargi priyadarshini dash and today we have ayushman dash in the house Hello sir how Hello. are you I'm good I'm good how are you I'm great So sir can you please introduce yourself to our audience like anything works Awesome thoda college life and everything Kuch bhi chalega Yeah kuch bhi chalega <laughs> <laughs> All right I'll I'll maybe try to do um I'll, I'll try to give an introduction that I've not done yet Yeah uh, so I'm a regular Bhuvneshwar ka Odia to ka Okay <laughs> I'm uh, born and brought up here uh went to school um here only at dav dav pokhariput i don't know it's still popular or not back in the day it was one of those popular schools yeah. everyone went to went to bjb college after that like the canonical odia educational journey from school to bjb college and then i did my engineering here as well um uh, we i spent my entire childhood in old town Old Town, Bhubaneswar. I don't know if you've been to Old Town or you guys hang out in Old Town. You guys never go to Old Town, most likely. Yeah, the आज के नए लोग वहाँ जाते नहीं हैं इतना. But I believe it's uh, it's developing pretty well. That's a different story. Uh, spent my entire childhood in Old Town. We had a small apartment. Uh, it was a two bedroom, and we have me, mom, dad, मेरा भाई, दादा, दादाजी और दादी माँ दोनों. uh hamare sath and it was a, it was very interesting it was very interesting growing up um and then i did my engineering over here in ct um again the same story don't know why i did my engineering because everyone was doing it and uh it ki coaching bhi li maine uh, probably like many other in my batch and don't ask me why just just because everyone was doing it most likely that's why and um उसके बाद आफ्टर इंजीनियरिंग आई ज्वाइन टी सी एस टाटा कंसल्टेंसी एंड थ्री फोर मंथ्स डाउन द लाइन आई रियलाइज दिस इज नॉट फॉर मी आई कैन नॉट डू दिस एंड देन आई क्विट एंड आई डिड नॉट हैव अ प्रॉपर जॉब एट दैट टाइम एंड आई डिड नॉट नो वॉट टू डू बट माई लकीली माई ब्रदर हैड अ डिसेंट जॉब एंड ही टोल्ड मी ही वॉज इन बैंगलोर ही टोल्ड मी दैट आई एम इन बैंगलोर एंड वॉट यू डू इज you can quit your job it was not easy for me quitting my job because we don't come from, from a very well off family and these these companies know what they do is they lock you in for mm-hmm. some time and you have to pay money to exit before before the lock in period so i thought about it a lot i did not even know whether we had that much money mere paas to definitely nahi the right so but uh, parents were very supportive and they have been through the entire process so even if we are, we don't come from a well off family but uh, it has never been like a big problem like we knew that money is a problem yeah. but they never made us feel like money is a problem but uh, so my dad somehow managed i think my brother gave money at till date i don't know who who paid for me exiting tcs but somehow somehow we did i think either my dad paid or my brother paid somebody did and i i went out of there i could just could not stay there and um, did not have a proper job but i tried looking for a job i found a small company I realized that big companies are not for me. Mm-hmm. I cannot work uh, in a large multinational company. Uh, that's that's where I'm getting lost, and uh, that is when I started realizing that uh, I have a drive, and I need to pursue it. 
and till then i was probably running a race yeah. that uh, i don't know what that race was why i was a part of that race i had no idea but i was a part of it somehow yeah. and that was probably the tipping point that yaar kuch to karna padega ye to nahi hone wala and then i started taking control over my life uh, joined a very small startup uh, we were working in one place there were very few people working there uh, we were working on language ai back then when language ai was like nobody even knew what ai was the only reference to ai would probably be terminator or something like that right but uh, we did a lot of cool stuff over there um of course did not earn a lot of money but uh, it was a wonderful time lived with my brother did not pay rent for 3 4 months and um yeah that that was kind of the kick off and after that after a certain point i realized i need to pursue um, my career somewhere else and uh, wanted to study a little more because engineering mein to padhai ki nahi और कॉलेज और स्कूल में भी समहाउ कुछ ना कुछ तो कर ही लिया तो आई रियलाइज दैट आई वांट टू स्टडी मोर आई वांट टू गेट एन इंटरनेशनल एक्सपीरियंस आई वांट टू स्टडी समवेयर सो यू वेंट टू जर्मनी आई वेंट टू जर्मनी या आई वेंट टू जर्मनी फ्रॉम देयर आई वेंट टू कनाडा एंड देन आई फाइनली गॉट द गट्स टू क्विट माय जॉब एंड स्टार्ट माय ओन कंपनी सो आई क्विट माय जॉब स्टार्ट स्टार्टेड माय ओन कंपनी अम मूव्ड बैक टू भुवनेश्वर ड्यूरिंग कोविड एंड हियर वी आर स्टिल स्ट्रगलिंग सो uh just one question you said that you went to germany and then canada so like uh, bahar ke institutions kyu like uh, you see any difference between the indian ones and the foreign ones वैसे मुझे तो लगता है कि इंडियन इंडियन एजुकेशन इज प्रीटी गुड दैट्स व्हाट आई फील एंड कॉलेजेस आर आल्सो देयर आर मेनी कॉलेजेस मेनी ऑप्शंस एंड देयर आर प्रीटी गुड इंस्टीट्यूशंस हियर विद वेरी गुड फैकल्टी एंड सो ऑन बट मुझे ऐसा लगता है ना इंडिया में अगर जैसे मुझे करना था आई वांटेड टू गेट solid education like yeah. because and i came from a different kind of a mindset is because maine engineering mein padhai nahi ki so i was at some point i felt like i'm missing out on something and it's my personal personal view point right i felt like maine i should have i should have studied and kaam karte karte padhai karna bahut mushkil hai it's not Definitely. easy it's very yeah. very tough you can do it if you want to you don't necessarily need mm. higher education um through work you can learn a lot and mm. some of my friends who are a part of my company as well uh, they did not go for a masters they are as knowledgeable or even more uh, than me but i felt like mujhe wo missing lag raha tha so i wanted to get that second is i wanted some sort of an international experience yeah. don't know why maybe because i grew up watching so much um, content related to international content especially yeah. talk whether it is movies or shows or whatever pata nahi kuch to ek fascination tha yaar bahar jana hai thoda bahar ka duniya dekhna hai exposure bol sakte ho you can call it whatever and um so i wanted to go out i wanted to go out of uh, india and see ki kya hai bahar padhna tha right. and ek aur factor mujhe lagta hai ki india mein agar mujhe koi acche college se masters karna hota na to fir wo competition bahut zyada hai mujhe aisa lagta hai bahar na you get good quality education but the competition is a bit low um again don't know exactly why but competition thoda mujhe to kam lagta hai and plus i went to germany because education is free I yeah, I paid yeah. I paid nothing. Yeah. Like I, my my dad initially funded a part of it, hmm. and um, because Germany me study करने के लिए ना तुम्हें कुछ एक certain amount of money you need. Yeah. You need to show that you have this much money, and then only they'll give you a, a visa for a certain period of time. Hmm. So my dad helped me somehow, and for the initial bit, and then I did not even have to take money. I worked um, over there, and वहीं से सब हो गया. And like education free है. but you have to pay a certain very small amount like 250 euros or something per semester okay and that gives you free bus passes train free hai uh, college mein khana subsidized hai uh, tumhe hostels mil raha hai at a very subsidized rate and i ended up realizing that i spent half the money that my friends spent here going to ximb bhuvneshwar be living in bhuvneshwar going to ximb they spent 2x the amount that i spent by going to germany living there doing my masters and doing a job so it turned out pretty pretty well for me <laughs> okay right. no that is absolutely great so you started a company uh, related to ai and stuff so uh, you know hum log jab hum log doston ke sath rehte as you said ki aapko pata nahi tha and all jo dost kar rahe the hum aap hi wahi kar rahe the so uh, taking up ai was it an influenced decision or a well calculated decision I I don't know I think I got lucky I was interested in AI as I told you right when I joined this company in Bangalore 
um they were doing language ai for indian languages right. they're building ai technology for indian languages and when ai was not even ai then people did not even call it ai right um got very interested in the field and before that itna before usse pehle pata bhi tha mm-hmm. um but i don't know maybe it, it's an interesting turn of events right ai boom hua kab if you think about that it was 2012 mm-hmm. when did i graduate i graduated in 2013 and then i started working ai ka boom see 2012 2013 i start working end of 2013 ai ka wave chal raha and wave just start hua tha so i believe i don't know somehow who i crossed paths with ai right and usse pehle main socha bhi nahi tha and once i started working on it i found it super interesting especially because ai mein bahut hi interesting cheez hai jo ki aur dusre field mein hai nahi and wo ye hai ki uh, when you teach when you, when you see that a non living thing has become you can make a non living thing intelligent and do things and think up think and reason and perform actions that gives you a kick and that gave me the kick like when for the first time when i trained an ai mm-hmm. perform a very trivial very small task and i saw wow like i can make a computer do this that just gave me a kick and uske baad se there was no turning point i knew that i wanted to do this i wanted to pursue this in the future and that was one of the reasons as well that i wanted to study because i needed some time to really understand the maths behind it because college mein to kiya nahi balki college mein padhaya tha acche ghar se padhaya tha lekin kiya to hai nahi i needed that time and when i went uh, to germany i uh, got the opportunity and i was lucky to pick my courses there was no restriction i could pick any course that i wanted to so in my first semester i literally went to every lecture psychology se leke economics to maths to theory of whatever i did not leave a single lecture behind i took everything and then realized that ai ke courses lene hai and isi mein kaam karna hai and i just took all those courses and i went into it there's some kick when you when you teach a machine to perform an action right intelligently some kick i got and uske baad se i pursued it the reason why i started an ai company is very different because i kept pursuing it i saw how the industry kept growing and very interestingly one after the other cheeze hoti gayi and when i started it when i started my company i did not start because market was big and i am i'm being very honest i did not start usually look karte hai na market analysis karte hai aisa aisa kuch nahi kiya maine theek hai and i should have probably done it and now we are doing it but when i started it i did not do it i did it because i had one good skill and i wanted to do something on my own so what do you do you take that one good skill that something that you good at and you try to make money out of it and that's where it started and then eventually went on to do other things and now we are an ai company so can you elaborate a little bit about what your company exactly does and so a little bit in detail uh, there are two phases to my company yeah and um, in the first phase of my com- my com- name of my company is neural space yeah and uh, we are a language ai company and we we build language ai for languages like arabic indian languages southeast asian languages like okay. malay bahasa um khmer spoken in cambodia and tagalog spoken in filipino so the reason why we started this was because we thought ai ban raha hai but ai bahut western dominated hai for example ai is being developed in english german french italian and so on so with that thought in mind we started the company ki hum log ai banayenge but ai that speaks and understands indian languages for example african languages or middle eastern languages arabic dialects and so on and so on that was a starting point we saw a little bit of a gap in the market we built something we sold that product to a company it was a decent enough contract that gave us the kick to that gave me the kick to quit my job but abhi we have pivoted so through that journey we learned a lot and uh, now it's almost this is the fourth year already and through that journey we realized that uh, business and vision na dono ka match hona bahut zaruri hai and dheere dheere through our lesson through the mistakes that we made now we have learned that our strength is in media we worked with production companies large production companies and uh, we we realized how ai could impact people in the creative space people in the media space 
and we pivoted we used that knowledge and pivoted um to building a platform for creators any kind of creator it could be a writer could be a musician could be a director could be anyone uh, who is creating a story and um would need help uh, of ai to augment their creativity so to to reach a level of creativity that is not humanly possible and that is why we built this new platform this new face of our company yeah. and uh, you can do many things on that you could create your ai twin to jam with uh, it could uh, it could magnify your creativity by giving you ideas by giving you music suggestions generate songs instrumental or with lyrics um generate images tomorrow we will add videos as well it, it can generate videos for you and can help you visualize your ideas in a way that you could not do um uh, in a normal setting or not do without uh, any ai assistance and uh, that is what we are piloting with these companies and uh, we will probably go live in november and um, yeah that's going to be that's going to be our new face and i'm quite excited about it really great that's great okay so you talked about ai and media so uh, you know jab uh, donald trump he won his, his elections so uh, it was said it was claimed ki uh, he win like he won through the power of ai and media he manipulated the people uh, of his country and uh, he um, made them listen to what they wanted to hear and so you think that the outcomes of mixing ai and media can be really con- uh, really concerning and mm. it's a very very interesting point it's i believe it's a it's a point that has been debated a lot as well yeah and uh, i believe any technology can have a negative side to it as well yeah. right it's like a power right yeah. so is the same with ai it's super powerful and uh, you could do a lot with it you could definitely do a lot of wrong with it as well i was listening to a podcast by sam altman recently yeah. and uh, it was one of the most candid conversations by sam and um, uh, and it's actually from a, from one of my favorite podcasts it's called the all in podcast and it's one of the best podcasts i i really like it maybe i would recommend that to everyone as well and uh, sam sam said that ai has the potential to be so big that um, every country would come together and of course this is a hypothetical situation we're yeah. talking about right a utopian yeah every country would come together and if it really becomes that powerful then probably everyone has to um pitch in some way or the other exactly like we have the united nations right something like that but that's a future that we are talking about which we have no idea about it might not be that way as well and it's probably a long way from today um but it could happen it could happen and whether whether uh, donald trump used ai to manipulate people i believe ai is not j- necessary to manipulate people there are many other ways to manipulate people it it could make your life easier because ai uses a lot of data right? right so from the data it can tell you what people are thinking it can extract patterns and give you that information that is not humanly possible as we are talking about uh, our company right uh, there are things that ai can do that is not humanly possible for example if i give you 10000 books will you be able to remember everything and then tell me or create something out of it it is not humanly possible right but any i can do it uh, not just 10000 documents or 10000 books it could read probably a million books and help you with whatever you're doing is the same thing if you give the data of so many people what they're doing what transactions they are making what are they talking about then it could probably give you insights on what they really want and then you can manipulate them of yeah. course but think of the other side where you could use this power to give people superpowers right you can you can empower people with something like this uh, which is a part of my vision as well that i want to empower creators no matter where they are who they are um i want them to feel more powerful i don't want them to be slaves to the algorithm and i don't want them to feel like they they are they are, they are out of ideas and in the same way you could use it in a very positive way as well right. and it's also a matter of messaging i feel hmm. like how are you positioning uh, your technology right are you saying that hey this is a powerful tool go do whatever you want to do with it or you're saying hey this is a powerful tool and this is how we should use it and i believe there are companies who are taking that stance and saying that hey we should use it carefully there are some rules that we need to follow right. we should not abuse it i believe that is that is what is going on and i believe that is the future that we should be we should be moving towards and plus you guys are young folks right you guys should be thinking about it like that because tomorrow you will be in a position where you would be given two choices 
whether you use AI one or AI two, and believe me, everyone is going to use AI in the near future. Okay. It's up to you now whether you use AI one or AI two. Now you will be asking the right questions, right? Which one is um, follows the rules, follows the guidelines? Which one is supportive? Which one helps me and does not dominate me? Or whatever the right questions are for you, you would ask those questions and then use it. And it will depend on you how you use it. Yeah, right. Uh, one more debated topic, like one of the most debated topic. You just said that uh, uh, in your company, the AI will be capable of uh, making a twin out of myself, uh, will be able to create a personality and a lot more of things. And you also said about AI and media, right? So do you think that AI can also be, you know, uh, it can be working as a reporter or stuff like that? Well, I do think people are already doing it. Uh, AI reporters are already there. Yeah. Uh, I do not have the data of how well people are receiving these AI reporters. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Interesting thing for us to explore in the future, because, maybe. Because uh, there are a lot of chances that a uh, problem might arise related to data security and glitches with the machines. Yeah, it could. But I feel, I, I feel like, so let, let's take a step back, right? Right. Uh, we're talking about AI personalities uh, and how they are going to take up a role of let's say a reporter yeah. let's say let's take that example and try to flesh it out right so for this particular example first we need what we need to understand is are people perceiving an AI reporter in the same way as they are perceiving a human reporter that's the first question that I would ask right yeah. I personally think that the human creativity and the human touch and the authenticity that a real human being brings, it is very difficult to take that away. Very, very difficult to take that away. Whether an AI can take that away or not, that's a different question. And whether it is doing that today or whether it will do that tomorrow, that's also a different question. Maybe tomorrow it will. Maybe in a matter of 5-10 years, it will also be authentic. You will not feel the difference between an AI or a human. Okay. But today, where AI is, it cannot replace the human authenticity. There is no way it can. And that is crucial. And we are in the process. And and I'm not the only one saying this. Even Mark Zuckerberg in his interview says this. Uh, Sam Altman, Jeff Bezos. Everyone is saying the same thing. That we are building something truly amazing. Whether it is going to replace human authenticity or creativity or not, we are yet to figure out. Because it has not done that yet. And now... Today, that thing cannot be replaced, is what I feel. So, yes, there are the data security issues and so on and so on. But I feel these are issues of the future, not yet. Right now, we need to see what this is capable of and explore. We just need to explore as much as we can. And then put guidelines, then put boundaries and then do everything else that we want to do. But right now, we need to explore. We need to see how it can do good. What can it do? And then figure out the rest. Yeah, but I think our generation, the one people refer to as Gen Z, mm -hmm. uh, is the generation that is, you know, accepts everything, right? So I don't think there will be any problem with our generation with accepting AI as, you know, reporters or whatnot. So uh, there are very much chances then that, uh, that AI will be either catalyzing the process or elim eliminating the existing labor force. Mm. You think that? This is also a very interesting and debatable topic. Yeah. Uh, I feel, again, I the, the CEO of NVIDIA, Jensen Huang, yeah. he says that AI will not replace you. Someone who is using AI will probably replace you. Exactly. So that is what is going to happen now or in the near future for sure. So better adopt AI and be ahead of the curve. Exactly, exactly like you have adopted any other technology. At some point in time, I don't know if you will ever relate to something like this, but there was a time when there were no computers. Can you imagine your life right. without a computer? You cannot, right? No. Computers came in and I'm talking about this from the perspective of my dad. When he was running, uh, he was uh, in his office uh, and uh, they decided, the company decided that uh, they are going to bring in computers. So that change from going from a file system, literally writing things down every day, keeping huge piles of files to now using computers, people were threatened. 
people did feel like what is this machine going to do over here and probably i'm going to lose my job you know what happened people who learned to use the computer they kept their jobs and people who did not learn to use their computers Got they lost place. their jobs of course and this is not a new thing we have we are in the fourth industrial revolution most like i don't know how many industrial revolutions have happened but this has happened from one industrial revolution to the other to the next and it is going to keep happening right. the new technology is going to come in people who adopt new technology are going to grow they are going to keep moving forward people who resist are going to stay behind this is how it is going to happen right as simple as that or they will find their own way it's not like if you don't use technology don't adopt then you have a bad life the, that is not the discussion at all it's about in your professional career technology is going to change your life period ai is going to change your life period you better adopt otherwise you're going to leave behind as as simple as that this is what i feel do you have any skills to suggest that the youth can use to you know uh, they can learn and upskill themselves so that in your future they don't face such problem or get replaced and you're talking about the young folks right yeah i uh, i think there are plenty of courses out there that you can take to understand what is ai yeah. and i believe sometimes you don't even need to take courses to understand how to use ai these are tools you just need to start using them as simple as that and ai is going to penetrate every industry that you can possibly imagine as i'm saying that uh, creating images for example I'll give you give you this example it's a very interesting example a year ago generating realistic images that are difficult to distinguish whether it's a human generated image or an ai generated image was not possible it did not work out and i have followed this research for a very long time i have even written a paper on this generating images from text i write a piece of text describing what i want in the image and the ai should generate an image for me the best we could do in 2017 right so not that long ago in 2017 was generate flowers images of flowers and that to a countable limited number of flowers from a text description nothing more than that that's it period and that to you look at those flowers you would you would easily say that hey this doesn't look real it looks fake and today we are generating images you will not be able to distinguish whether it's a real image or a fake image right you can generate i can take your image i can take a portrait of yours and i can create a full storyboard with my own story with your character in it i can give you a different hairstyle i can give you a different costume i can give you as many different kinds of makeups that i want to and i can create and build a character not just one character but consistently i can create a full length storyboard and i can prepare that for you and you will be astonished you will not be able to differentiate whether it's you what is going on who wrote this who drew this and this has happened in the last few years right so i believe what you need to do is this is just for generating images right yeah. so who is going to use this today we feel that creators would use this yeah. right but maybe some other people could also use this ordinary people who Anyone. want a vision board or something like correct that. they could also use it a marketing team could use it but i believe what you need to what you need to do is and what the starting point should be identify your skill set that th these are the skills that i want to acquire what skills can be complemented by ai just start learning from that right if you want to go into finance there are a lot of ai tools for finance learn those if you want to go into the creative space learn all the the generative fills and all the generative tools that adobe has now released learn all of that right and just download the software buy do whatever you want and start learning those identify the skills that you want to learn and see how ai can complement that or which ai tool is available to complement that start using it as simple as that okay so do we have a, any simple you know like a website where i can use no i can get each and every ai tool because you just said that uh, maybe in near future ki hum log ka har kaam mein will be using ai so do we have a one stop solution no not yet i believe it will never be like that yeah kabhi nahi hoga because users get it in a scattered form yeah, like yeah. i want to create a logo then meko dusre website mein jana padega i want to uh, write a paragraph and meko usko matlab you know uh, uska tone meko formal mein chahiye then ek dusra website so i i find it so interesting that your generation is like in a place like when i was your age 
I got my first computer when I was in seventh grade, and I was probably the first person in my class to start using a computer, like a real computer. And you guys are in a place where you are starting your careers with AI, not a computer, but with AI. Like you have a companion with you. That is just incredible, is what I see. And the reason it's a it's a detour from our conversation, but I just find it interesting how uh, things have changed, and it's and how how fast things have changed. I'm speaking as if I'm 100 years old, but it just feels <laughs> like that because of how fast things are moving. But anyway, there I don't think there is any place where all AI tools have been integrated yet. I think it is going to be very difficult. Second is AI is very very new. Everyone is trying to build an AI tool for some use case or the other. Yeah. Many of these are going to fail, and honestly speaking, there is a chance that we will too. You never know because the space is so new. Exactly like most internet companies failed when internet was new. Yeah. Uh, many people started an internet company and most of them failed, but some grew and then it became something else. I yeah. believe AI will have a phase like that. Maybe many AI tools. Some of them will work. Some of them will not work. And then we will reach another phase where we will start seeing things clearly. And I believe there will be verticalized AI solutions available. There will be generic ones like ChatGPT or Anthropic or many others that are available out there, uh, which will be your general companion. They will do your day-to-day tasks. And kabi kabi to maine apne knocker jaisa bhi treat karta hu. I'm sorry, <laughs> that's just kidding. But um, they will be your day-to-day companions, right? Do your regular stuff. Uh, ask them generic questions. Kuch pata nahi hai, kuch prepare karna hai to. And then there will be specific ones, like for example, the ones integrated inside Adobe. The AI that you're going to use only when you're using Adobe, when you're editing a photo or when you're editing a video or something like that. And then there will be specific ones, like for example, what we are building for creators only. When you want to write a story, or when you want to create a new season for your show that's going on, or maybe if you're an influencer or a musician, you want to write a new album. So then you would go to this tool. And this guy has been fine-tuned. They, this this particular AI, it knows exactly how to help a creator, or help someone in finance, or help someone in the I don't know editing space, or so on and so on. This is how I feel it will be verticalized, and वहाँ पे तुम्हारा होगा. And you might have to jump from one tool to the other, is what I feel. But sadly, there's no one tool. There's a website called DeepLearning.ai. Yeah. They have a lot of. They have very interesting courses available. Uh, most of them are technical. But they have some non-technical courses as well. Any for anyone, uh, I believe what I suggest people when they ask me, "Ki mujhe kya course karna chahiye?" I tell them that probably I should start a course where I teach non-technical folks what AI is. But I ha- I don't have the time to do that. So definitely go to deeplearning.ai. They have two or three courses for non-technical folks. Just go through it. It's pretty brilliant. Guys, this was not sponsored. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So here is an out of the blue question. So. You know about dark web, right? Mm-hmm. So, can we use AI in that field and do weird, weird things? Look, you know. Yeah, I mean, you can of course do. People are doing a lot of weird things, uh, and uh, with using AI, yeah. right? There are a lot of open source models. People are doing a lot of crazy stuff. Like, for example, your AI companion, like life companion, right. and so on, so on. AI partners. People are using AI to mimic calls. You know, back in the day, I don't know if you guys know that. Uh, I don't know if I will get into trouble for saying all this on your show. But back in the day, and I think today as well, there are these phone phone numbers where um, mostly desperate men would call and just talk to someone. Yeah, right. And right. This is now done using AI. And you see that the kind of crazy things that people could do with exactly, this, right? Yeah. You could mimic someone's voice. You could clone someone's voice as well. Like for example, we use this technology in our in our suite of APIs or suite of tech, uh, features that we provide to our users. It's called instant voice cloning. So I can take two seconds of your voice sample and I can clone your voice immediately. It won't even take me a minute to clone your voice, right? So I can clone your voice and do whatever whatever I want to do, right? So these are probably being used. In a very weird way by yeah. people today, hundred percent, I'm sure. Yeah. So starting me, you mentioned that uh, you were exploring AI, and then while working, you just figured out that yeah, this is for me. So how do I know that something is for me, like entrepreneurship and whatever I'm doing? Like, how do I know if it is for me or not? What will be your guide to the youth? I believe mostly it will come from failure. Yeah, this is what my assumption is. Probably going to fail. If I'm or, failing, then it's not for me. 
probably you'll fail at something or you will struggle i'm reading this book called hard things about hard things yeah. it's by uh, ben anderson ben anderson is again a very amazing entrepreneur a uh, very big venture capitalist and uh, he says that wo oh, struggle feel ho jayega na tumhe pata chal jayega wo oh, struggle se wo conflict hogi kuch to ek friction aayega yeah. okay some uncomfortable feeling right and it's very difficult to explain like i i realize that i have a different um life i want a different yeah. life i cannot do this is when multiple things happen to me and i would not say that i figured it out yet right but when i was in college mai jab yahan pe tha mai bol raha tha right that i was in a heavy metal band i was into music yeah. um i played guitar till date um i was doing a lot of creative stuff and i loved that college mein padhai nahi hui that did not matter is because baki side mein chal raha tha the reason why this did not matter is because shows kar rahe hain shows host kar rahe hain kuch na kuch to chal hi raha tha in the creative field right it was lovely the moment that stopped and i went into a place where it's like a concrete jungle एंड क्यूबिकल्स बने हुए हैं बैठ के वो लोग पीपल आर हायर आर की बनी हुई है पॉलिटिक्स चल रहा है जस्ट कुड नॉट एक फ्रिक्शन आया अंदर से मतलब द समथिंग दैट वॉज अनकम्फर्टेबल एंड आई फेल्ट इट कि ये तो नहीं होने वाला है एंड देन सम वे और दी अदर वहाँ से निकल के एंड देन आई हैव टेक दैट स्टेप ऑफ कोर्स आई फील दैट इट इज गोइंग टू इधर कम फ्रॉम इधर कम फ्रॉम डिस्कम्फर्ट फ्रिक्शन स्ट्रगल वट एवर यू वॉन्ट कॉल इट और आई बिलीव इट कुड ऑल्सो कम फ्रॉम knowing yourself lot of people my age i've studied with them worked with them they know exactly what they want to do right i was not that guy i did not know what i wanted to do i just did what people were doing um uh, running a race don't know what that race is why am i running absolutely no idea but there are many people who know who are very clear about what they are doing right and know very clearly that yahi karna hai aur isi mein mane इसी को परस्यू करते हैं और कुछ करते नहीं आई डोंट नो वेयर दिस पीपल कम फ्रॉम बिकॉज़ दे एग्जिस्ट बिकॉज़ नो आई हैव बीन वेरी लाइक रिसेंटली आई हैव बीन वेरी कंफ्यूज्ड एंड यू नो फीलिंग हेल्पलेस व्हाट व्हाट टू डू व्हाट एम आई डूइंग इन दैट फेज इन दैट एरा सो बट देन यू विल प्रोबब्ली स्ट्रगल लाइक मी आई एम सॉरी टू से दैट एंड देयर विल बी अ डे व्हेन यू विल प्रोबब्ली क्राई और यू विल बी यू विल ब्रेक डाउन और मे बी you will be like bhai ho gaya crying is my skin care routine okay perfect so, mm-hmm. so one of these days some one of these things are probably going to happen yeah and the word discomfort se hi niklega fir ya fir ek aur route hai jo jiske sath main kabhi life mein connect hi nahi kar paya but there is another route a route of uh, that people take who are not ambitious in life at all ab abhi hum is bare mein baat kar rahe hain again it's a side topic but uh, the reason why we are talking about this is because you are assuming that everyone is ambitious everyone is not ambitious and sooner or later you will also realize and i believe everyone knows some way or the other everyone is not ambitious only But a few people are ambitious sometimes it's ambitious i mean like the people uh, that person is ambitious he or she knows what they want to do but they don't have the resources or the particular ki- kind of guides Uh, you know guide to uh, move towards that uh, point you know mm. so what should people like them do i don't know? i don't know maybe then i believe again ye thoda mera opinion hai i feel agar ambition hai na agar true ambition hai true ambition also comes with the power to take action yeah if you are not able to act on the ambition then it is not ambition it's yeah. dreaming there's a difference between ambition and dreaming right a dreamer would just sit and dream and do nothing exactly someone who is ambitious is going to dream and going to make that shit happen Very and true. get shit done right so wo difference hai mere ko lagta hai aur ye jo conversation hum kar rahe hai na ki pata kaise chalega ki life mein karna kya hai yeah. ye ek ambitious person hi kar sakta hai jo ambitious nahi ho nahi kar sakta wo nahi karega and bahut log na ambitious hote hain some people are dreamers some people are ambitious and through life they become something else because things happen life happens yeah. kuch na kuch ho jata hai and wo ambition ko bhul jate hain keep and on usko, exploring and you kuch kuch karte karte fir hota hai kuch hota hai kuch nahi hota hai and life is a struggle right and matlab that is a fact and life is a struggle i think karl marx said that life is struggle he he said there is no other way there will be struggle no matter where you are who you are or how big you have become life is going to be a struggle so you cannot avoid that 
बट स्ट्रगल में बंदा खो भी सकता है राइट वो एम्बिशन जा भी सकता है तो वॉट यू ट्रूली वॉन्ट टू डू एंड वॉट आई हैव गॉन थ्रू इज डिस्कम्फर्ट कुछ एक किया पता नहीं क्यों किया एट सम पॉइंट वो अंदर से ही वो गट स्टार्ट टेलिंग यू एयर कि कुछ तो गड़बड़ है एंड देन जस्ट लिसन टू योर गट एंड फॉलो योर पाथ अभी द अदर वे इज यू नो इज नो योर शेट वन ऑफ माई वेरी क्लोज फ्रेंड्स वेन आई वॉज इन जर्मनी ही वॉज डूइंग माई मास्टर्स देर एंड दैट एक्सपीरियंस चेंज अ लॉट इन मी इज वोट आई फील आई स्टार्टेड हैंगिंग आउट विथ अ लॉट ऑफ जर्मन पीपल माई क्लासमेट्स मोस्टली एंड आई सॉ अ क्लियर डिफरेंस बिटवीन द एटीट्यूड दैट वी हैड एंड आई एम नॉट आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू जनरलाइज बट सैडली दिस इज वॉट आई सॉ एंड द एटीट्यूड इन सम ऑफ द जर्मन फोक्स दैट आई वर्क विद एंड वी हैव टू डू असाइनमेंट्स वी हैव टू डू क्लास वर्क एंड सो ऑन एंड सो ऑन सो यू हैव टू पेयर विद पीपल एंड वर्क राइट एस अ क्लियर डिफरेंस आई सॉ जर्मन पीपल बिकॉज एजुकेशन इज फ्री ए सो दे वुड ओनली टेक वन आर टू क्लासेस अ सेमेस्टर एक और दो क्लासेस अगर तुम एक सेमेस्टर में लोगे मास्टर्स खत्म करने के लिए पांच साल लग जाएगा चार पांच साल लग जाएगा दे डिड नॉट केयर दे एब्सोल्युटली डिड नॉट केयर चार साल लगेगा पांच साल लगेगा दैट वाज नॉट इन देर एजेंडा मोस्ट ऑफ मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल दैट आई सॉ केम फ्रॉम इंडिया और पाकिस्तान और टर्की और चाइना दे केम फ्रॉम अ बैकग्राउंड और अ माइंड सेट दो साल में खत्म करेंगे ठीक है People even thought कि एक साल में खत्म कर देंगे हाँ ठीक है Why why was that? Because बहुत लोगों को पता नहीं है बिकॉज पीपल आर स्टिल इन द रेस राइट उनको पता नहीं है बट दोज गाइज सम ऑफ दोज गाइज दैट आई वर्क विद सम जर्मन गाइज एंड मे बी इन वन वे ऑफ दर आई वॉज ऑल्सो लाइक दैट आई कुड से सो दैट्स आई वुड नॉट जनरलाइज सो ही वॉज बिल्डिंग ही वॉज वर्किंग इन अ गराज वाइल स्टार्टिंग कंप्यूटर साइंस विथ मी एंड हिज गोल वॉज कि दो साल में एक गाड़ी खरीदा था उसने दो साल में उसका इंजन निकालूंगा उसको पूरा ईवी बनाऊंगा दिस वॉज इज गोल वॉज वर्किंग एट अ गराज दैट वॉज इज मेन थिंग इज डूइंग इज मास्टर्स एज अ साइड गेट राइट ही हैड दैट लेवल ऑफ क्लैरिटी दैट मुझे तो बस यही करना है ठीक है दैट कम्स फ्रॉम प्रिवलेज में जिसका लाइफ में ना वो है कि भाई मैं एकदम क्लैरिटी है यही करना है प्रिवलेज है तो तुम उसको परसू कर सकते हो या एंड अगर प्रिवलेज नहीं है मैं आई एम ऑल्सो प्रिवलेज दैट्स वाई आई एम एबल टू सेट यू ऑल्सो आर प्रिवलेज दैट्स वाई यू आर एबल टू सेट बट समबडी हु हैज टू इज गोइंग फ्रॉम पे चेक टू पे चेक विल नेवर बी एबल टू सेट वो एम्बिशन होगा लेकिन वो खत्म हो जाएगा क्योंकि कैसे करोगे यू हैव अदर बिगर प्रॉब्लम टू सॉल्व राइट है वो क्लैरिटी भी होता है आई बिलीव इट्स अ मैटर ऑफ रीडिंग रीड एज मेनी बुक्स एज यू कैन uh read about more people learn about history history is something that i ignored my entire life i hated that subject today i would say history is one of my favorite subjects history will teach you so much that a science book or any other book will not be able to teach you the more you read the better you will understand yourself travel traveling teaches you so much travel by yourself itna pata chalega na khud ke bare mein clarity apne aap mil jayegi is what i feel right every time i recently came back from himachal every time i go through a rough patch I just book my tickets and I go to Himachal Pradesh and I spend as much time as I want. Just then, I feel like I am back to normal. I come back, okay, and I feel that works. I feel traveling could work. So there is no distinct answer to that, but I feel it's a matter of being conscious about it and chasing that ambition. Otherwise, wait for that friction to come in, and then probably you will know. I don't know. <laughs> Once you find it, you let me know <laughs> how it worked out and for you. And when I find it, I mean, where do I start? Can I say what should be my first step? I don't know. Let me think about when I found it. What did I do? I quit my job. <laughs> then, then I started thinking. Other than again, privilege आता है ना. अगर मेरा privilege नहीं होता तो फिर अच्छा would I have done that? I would have probably never done that. Privilege था. My dad told me कि quit your job. Don't worry. We'll figure it out. इसलिए कर दिया. भाई अगर dad के पास पैसे नहीं होते या फिर dad को इतना नहीं लग रहा होता कि नहीं पैसे जुगाड़ कर लेंगे. तो कर पाता क्या I would not have done it. Right. Same for when I wanted to go abroad. I did not have. I did not save up that much money. कितने पैसे मिलते थे छोटी सी कंपनी जॉइन की थी मैंने पंद्रह हजार रुपए मिलते थे मुझे महीने के इन बैंगलोर पंद्रह हजार रुपए मिलते थे लकीली आई एड माई ब्रदर लिविंग देर तो आई बिलीव वेन यू वेन यू जस्ट यू जस्ट डू इट आई थिंक दैट इज वॉट इट इज एंड अभी तक आई वुड नॉट से जो मैंने किया इट हैज कन्वर्टेड इन टू समथिंग उसका आर ओ आई नहीं पता है अभी तक वो हुआ नहीं है और मे बी होगा भी नहीं कभी कुछ बोल नहीं सकते बट आई थिंक इज जस्ट अ मैटर ऑफ जस्ट गो फॉर इट ठीक है जस्ट डू इट करके एक बार देखो तो फिर क्या होगा इफ यू डोंट डू इट देन कुछ पता तो नहीं चलेगा या इट्स लाइक मिक्सचर ऑफ गो विद द फ्लो एंड कीप ऑर्गेनाइजिंग कीप ऑर्गेनाइजिंग आई ऑलवेज स्किल अप आई थिंक स्किलिंग अप वुड हेल्प सो इट्स अ वेरी एक और आई आई फॉरगेट व्हिच बुक आई वाज रीडिंग एंड दे वर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस 
इट्स लाइक वेन यू फाइंड इट एन यू थिंक दैट अब तो ये करना है ठीक है ऐसा भी होता है कि वो ये करना है चेंज हो जाता है ऐसे हम मैंने कंपनी जिस मोटिव से स्टार्ट किया था सॉरी मैंने कंपनी जिस मोटिव से स्टार्ट किया था हम वी आर डूइंग समथिंग कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट नाउ वी प्रिवेटेड आई वॉज द अमाउंट ऑफ एक्साइटमेंट आई हैड फॉर वॉट आई वॉज डूइंग देन एंड नाउ वो अभी भी उतना ही है और अभी में भी ज्यादा है बट आई एम डूइंग समथिंग कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट बिकॉज आई बिलीव आई हैव लर्न टू लाइक द प्रोसेस मोर देन वॉट द एग्जैक्ट थिंग इज एफ काइंड ऑफ और मे बी मैं उस प्रोसेस में हूँ कि आई एम लाइकिंग द प्रोसेस ऑफ बिल्डिंग समथिंग न्यू ऑफ ट्राइंग टू कम अप विथ न्यू मार्केटिंग स्ट्रैटेजी और बिल्डिंग अ टीम और आई डोंट नो कोचिंग पीपल तो ये चीज ये चीजों का जो प्रोसेस है वो मुझे ज्यादा मजा आ रहा है एंड आई डोंट नो इफ यू हैव यू रेड इकी गए Yeah, uh, I have uh, you know uh, read the summary of the book kind of thing. Very yeah. good. Read the entire book. That's okay. what I would recommend. Okay, sure. It also says the same thing. So once you love the process of what you are doing, वो क्या कर रहे हो matter नहीं करता है because no matter what you create and there's a brilliant quote where they say that you you should be detached to what you create. You should never be attached to what you create, whether it is a song or it is a piece of code for a person like me. or a poem or a movie or whatever you are doing should not be attached to what you are doing wo karo aur chhod do and aage badh jao then do something else then karo chhod do fir aage badh jao be attached to your process improve your process as much as possible wo process mein fir tumhe maza aane lagega fir the outcome won't matter anymore because the outcome aayega fir wo chale jayega and a lot of times your outcome is going to be rejected as well if you start loving the process outcome kal except hua hai nahi hua it won't matter yeah. is because वो आउटकम के साथ तुम अटैच ही नहीं हो तुम अगर अटैच होते तब ना वो मैटर करता तो आई बिलीव वो प्रोसेस बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग है प्रोसेस एंड आई ट्राई टू डू दिस इन माय लाइफ आई वुड नॉट से आई एम एन एक्सपर्ट एट इट आई ट्राई टू बी अटैच टू द प्रोसेस ऑफ इट एंड आई एम स्लोली रियलाइजिंग थ्रू दिस प्रोसेस ओनली मेरे को लगा था कि यार नया आइडिया में प्रिवर्ट करेंगे मजा नहीं आएगा तो बट अभी मुझे ऐसा लग रहा है कि इट डजेंट मैटर नया आइडिया क्या है मुझे वो प्रोसेस ही मजा आता है तो आई लव दैट एंड आई एम फॉलोइंग दैट मे बी दैट इज समथिंग दैट कुड हेल्प maybe what you could do is first read ek guy i believe everyone pakka, should pakka. <laughs> everyone right. should yeah. and uh, maybe you will start loving your process maybe you have not figured out your process yet maybe it's quite random which is okay maybe at some point you will figure out your process so you were talking about your german friends who were you know least bothered about what uh, they're going to do what but there were those asian friends who were you know very much tensed about uh what will happen and we need to complete it by two so you know uh basically i'll talk about india right now abhi to india pe focus karte hain so hamare yahan pe na youth ka ek bahut hi matlab you know craze hai kind of ki we need to be successful jitna jaldi ho sake like 18 at the age of 18 or maybe usse pehle we and it's it mostly uh, unka jo you know the definition of their success wo hota hai you know either financially power authority so what is your definition of success my definition of success you know it's a very interesting question and uh, i don't have an answer maybe i'll say something but i'm not sure if that is the right answer is because i've been in the process of like why am i doing this why am i starting my yeah. own company in some way or the other i am also looking for success right whether it is financial success or power success or kya wo mujhe pata nahi hai and the reason why i don't have a direct answer to this question is because i i am not thinking about it because wo hasal mein itna ja raha hai na time or mental um you know power right that there is no time to think about bhi success aayega to kya hoga abhi hai there are problems these are the things these are our targets we need to reach those targets yeah. and waise aise hi ja raha hai to abhi now that you ask me these questions right मेरे पास ऐसा कोई ट्रू आंसर भी नहीं है कि व्हाट इज सक्सेस राइट फॉर मी बट दिस डेफिनेटली समथिंग दैट आई कंसीडर सक्सेस एंड आई एम जस्ट थिंकिंग आउट लाउड इज दैट आई वुड नॉट वांट टू बी अ कॉग इन द सिस्टम आई वुड नॉट वांट टू बी लाइक दैट आई वुड वांट टू हैव माय पर्सनल टाइम विद माय वाइफ एंड स्पेंड सम लवली टाइम विद हर मेक अमेजिंग मेमोरीज स्पेंड टाइम विद माय फैमिली and just be happy that would be my definition of true success if i have to think of it deeply uske sath paisa bhi chahiye of course and maybe a little bit of fame as well that would definitely be there 
But if I just have this, maybe I'll say that I'm still successful. I would not, I would not feel bad. And um, yeah, I just think that more time with people I love and quality time with them. Yeah. And nothing coming in between that. And even if I have a lot of money, then I would not want to compromise on that. Then only I'll feel like I'm truly successful. Otherwise, I'll feel like I'm truly successful. Otherwise, I'll feel like I'm truly successful. I truly believe that because I'm a very emotional person myself. And I, I, I love my wife, I love my parents. And I want to spend as much time as I can, I possibly can, with them and build memories. New memories by traveling or doing whatever, doesn't matter. Like build memories tomorrow. I, I want to say that I have done these many things with people I love and I have done this as well. That is how I would call my life a success. That is great. Absolutely great. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming to our show and sharing your experience. Thanks a lot for calling me. It was great <laughs> meeting you. Thank you. This is wonderful. Thanks a lot.